everybody, my name is Lori and welcome to Slicing Artist. So this week I'm going to show you guys how to make a Cinderella dress cake. Now I wanted to make this for the new movie Cinderella and I went and saw the movie. It was adorable. I love the movie and I've always loved Cinderella. I have to say that she was probably one of my favorite princesses growing up. And uh, so I really wanted to do a dress cake because she, when she twirls around, her dress just flows out so big. So I thought, how about if I did a cake that went with it and just kind of flowed out as she turned. So I'm going to show you guys how to actually make that cake. And I love it so much. I love her dress. I've always wanted a big dress like that. And I'm actually going to show you guys the little turntable that I put underneath her. So while she's on display, she's always turning. So let's get started. So for the cake, I actually went out and bought the real Cinderella kind of Barbie. She's really pretty and has really pretty dress. So to make the cake, I'm going to use some eighth of an inch dowels. I'm going to sharpen the one end, and you're going to need four of these that are two inches long. I'm just going to hammer them into my cake board. For this cake, I'm actually using two cake boards. The one cake board, the cake will actually sit on top of, and this one, the cake board's going to kind of stand up onto the stilt, and that's so the dress appears as it's floating. So I've just drilled a hole through this cake board, and that's what we're going to build the dress on. I'm just going to make sure my Barbie will fit in there with a support dowel. I'm going to add some buttercream to the cake board, and then I can start layering up my cake. So I've used a 12-inch cake. I'm just going to cut out a hole in the center for the Barbie to go into. Put a layer of buttercream. I'm going to put my 10-inch cake on top of that, another layer of buttercream, and then a 6-inch cake. And this is what it looks like when it's all kind of stacked up together. So now I'm going to start carving my cake. I always find it easier to carve your cakes when they're frozen. So when I'm done baking them, I let them cool and I just pop them in the freezer overnight when I'm ready to carve it. And you're just going to carve off the edges and then carve your cake into this really kind of tall dome. And then I'm going to dip in where that middle cake is just so the dress really flares out at the bottom as it's kind of twirling around. Now I'm going to use my buttercream icing and I'm just going to crumb coat my cake. And just make sure it's really nice and smooth. I'm just going to put in that last structure piece of a dowel that's going to go straight up through the cake. And I'm going to wrap my Barbie in some plastic wrap just to protect her so she doesn't get kind of cake and icing all over her. I can stick that into my cake and just make sure it goes all the way through the cake board onto the other cake. And I'm just going to put some buttercream icing around her. And then for her body, I'm just going to use some gel paste and that's so the fondant will actually stick to her body. If you buy a Barbie that actually has a bodice or a shirt on it, you won't have to make the shirt. But for this one, I did. So I've just rolled out some blue fondant. I'm just going to wrap that around her. Kind of just pressing it in so it's nice and tight as I go around her shirt. And I'm just going to trim off some of the excess. You don't have to worry if it's rough because we're going to cover that up all afterwards. Now I'm just going to roll out some white fondant really nice and thin. And I'm using a wooden skewer and I'm just rolling it back and forth on the one edge of the fondant. And then that's going to frill it up like this. And that's going to give us a nice ruffle effect for the bottom of her dress. I'm going to cut my strip into three sections and that's so it's easier to put onto my cake. If you did it in one large section, it'd be quite hard to put onto the cake. And I've just wet it with some water and then I'm just going to stick it on. And I'm going to use three layers of ruffles going all the way around the dress. And the ruffle is for when the dress actually spins around. You can see a little bit of the bottom of the ruffle kind of sticking out. I'm just going to mark a V at the front of her dress and that's so we can put the dress line kind of going up to that V mark. I'm going to roll out some bl blue fondant and then I'm going to cut it kind of into this shape. Now using my veining tool, I want to create some texture onto each strip of her dress and that's because her dress actually has all these different lines in it. So I just want to recreate some of that texture and fabric. I'm going to wet it with some water 
and then you're going to loosely stick it onto the dress. Now you want to make this look as close as fabric as possible. So you're going to start at the one end of her body and wrap it around because again, as the dress is kind of spinning and as she's twirling, the fabric is actually going to twirl with her. So when you put it onto the dress and you're putting all these little pieces of fabric on, try to make a lot of creases and folds and stuff like that so it actually looks nice and loose like fabric and not tight to the dress. Then I'm just going to put a strip of fondant just to cover up that seam line. And then again, I'm just going to wet over her shoulders and the top of her dress just with some gel paste. And I have this little piece of blue fondant that I'm just going to kind of crinkle up like this. And that's going to be for the top of her dress. And that just kind of sits over her shoulder like this. Now just using a really small flower cutter, I'm just going to cut out some small flowers. I will leave a link in my description below where you can find these. And I'm just going to cut off one of the petals and then stick the skewer on top of it, fold it in half and pull it out. And that's going to create the little butterflies that sit on the top of her dress. So you're going to make these in a few different colors. Wet the back of them just with some water and then I'm just going to stick them onto the top of her dress using my skewer as to kind of guide it on. Now just using some platinum red shimmer dust and a paintbrush, I'm just going to tap it on my finger and just really sparkle up her dress. Her dress has all these really pretty little jewels all over it. So I wanted to recreate that just using some sparkle and shimmer all over the dress. So I'm going to put that on the bottom and then just the top of her dress. I'm just going to use a small paintbrush just to paint those on. I just purchased a battery operated turntable from Amazon. It has two speeds, a high speed and a low speed. So I'm just gonna put it on a high speed and then I can sit my cake right on top of that and my cake will just sit there and twirl all day long. Well, at least until the batteries run out, but it actually lasts a really long time. So wherever you set your cake up on display, she can just sit there and do her little twirls. I absolutely love the way that this cake turned out. I was really happy with it. It was actually kind of attached to it. I almost didn't want people to cut into it. Just I just thought it was really pretty and her dress just flowed out perfectly and I was really happy with it. So I hope you guys really liked it too. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I put out new cake decorating videos every single week. So you can head on over to my channel. I've got lots of cake decorating videos there or click that big subscribe button underneath me so you guys don't miss a video. And I have some really exciting news this week. I have been working on designing a new website for you guys for the last like seven months and finally I'm ready to launch it. So as of today, you can go to theicingartist.com and I've got every single one of my recipes there. I always have you guys asking me about my recipes. They are all there as well as collaborations, your guys' cakes. So when you guys send me your cakes, they're all posted there. I also have blogs and stuff on there and I can continue to update it and post different stuff on there. So don't forget to head on over to theicingrs.com and check out what I've got going on. Thank you guys again so much for watching and for your support and I will see you guys all next week. Thanks again guys so much for watching and don't forget to click here to subscribe or you can click here to see last week's